Welcome to another episode of Fruits of Pancha. So, it's been quite a minute since I've played Roots of Pacha, and I'm not sure where I left off, like, at all. I think I just got the, um... Ooh, I think I just got the sickle? Yes, I did. Okay, so that means we can go into the cave. Um, before we do that, though, it looks like Era has an idea. Era is in a creative pickle and wants to experiment with new ways to process food. Alright, where you at, girl? Where you at? In the forest. Mm. You're not in the jungle. You're in the savanna. You're not here. She might not be here. Hmm. Yeah, because if she, yeah, she would be here. Is anybody here? Where is everybody? <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is everybody? Is it another... Another festival? It didn't say that there was another festival. Oh, there is. Oh. A winter festival. I'm not falling for it. I'm not falling for it, Pilek. I have a man now. Ooh. Okay. Let's scope the scenery out. Oh, look at him dancing now. <laughs> okay. Nice and cozy. This cold stuff isn't so bad. Having so many beautiful people around makes it easier. Pilek is a musician like me. You got it, Yvonne. You got it. You got him. <laughs> Um, would you like to hear the story of, of why we make bear offerings in the winter? When the totems were still building the world, Bear was in charge of the weather. She worked day and night making sure the jungles had enough rain and the deserts got the right amount of sun. Then every winter she slept. When the world was complete and Potchins walked the land, there wasn't anything left for Bear to do. But the weather still reflected her feelings. She could dance a windstorm to life or flood rivers with her tears without even realizing it. But the winter storms were the worst. Trees would topple and oceans would freeze. It was a dangerous time for the clans of the world. No one likes being awoken in the middle of the rest, especially when they're hungry. After, particularly, per, after a particularly terrible storm, a few Pachins thought of this. Uh, a few Pachins thought of this and made an offering to her. And sure enough, it worked. So they did it every year from then on. Bear got the rest she needed and the oceans never froze through again. That's why we must continue the tradition. That's cool. That's cool. I relate to Bear. I get pretty grumpy when I'm hungry too. Yvonne can't stop blushing, it's kind of hilarious. Big T has refined the art of storytelling. I wonder where she learned it all. She just got it like that. Ooh. Aiden knows even more about tea plants than me. Kocha gave me a few tea recipes I can't wait to try. Ooh, can I do it? I want to do it. Oh, this reminds me. Oh, good old times. This is where, uh, freaking... Um, they're so cute. This is where... Jack asked me out. Oh, so cute. And my freaking grandparent. And. Oh, I can't slide down. <laughs> I'm gonna go again. Go again. Wee! <laughs> cute. Let's go talk to Jack. So fun. Oh, I can't dance with him? I guess not. 
Y'all better not wake up, bear. You didn't just hear that story. Anything else down here? Okay. Okay, so I joined Gerard's team last time. I guess I'll join... Whose team was it? Adam. No, let's go. You live and you learn. Do I have to wait until they're standing? Oh, I just have to hit somebody who's, uh, who's up. Dang it. Yep, got you. Got you. Oh, okay. Yay! Look at all us dancing. <laughs> A flurry of fun. Okay, so we're gonna sleep and then we'll do, um... Her little whatever that is. I already forget her name. Was it Era? Whoops. Jeez, 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 jeez. It's probably what was bothering her. Okay, and Garrick wants a comfortable place to sit by the river and study it. <laughs> nice, fruit crumble, more uh, ostrich eggs. Okay. She's in the hearth, I believe that, uh, that tent is. And I think I have to upgrade my house in order to uh, invite Jack to stay with me. So I might need to do that. Uh, is it this one? Oh, cutscene. Why can't Mana go? Because it's always the first son that goes. Why can't I go where? Dad wants me to go to some Battle of the Wits competition. I did not know that they were father and son. Why knock? Hey! If it's not a big deal if I win, then why do I have to go? For the last time, it's tradition. What exactly is the tradition? Every Pacha clan sends someone to represent them. Then they ask and answer questions. The first adult son of our family always has been the one to go. I went for years. Now that Nock is an adult, he should go. Why can't we send someone who's not in our family? Our tradition. What do you think, Anna? Can traditions change? Yes. If it's not someone from our family, who do we send? The smartest person in the clan. I I suppose we can ask Eric if he can if he would go. And Garrick is the smartest person? I know the perfect food to bribe him with. You won't regret this. I'm like on the fence about that because I feel like some traditions can change and then others can. I feel like the traditions can't change, but you can modify them if that makes sense. So this is not where I need to be. Okay. Yeah, I did not know they were brother and sister. I'm still learning how these freaking families go, y'all. Like, not too much. I think it's this one. Why are you still sleeping at this hour? Get up now. Oh, my bad, girl. 
I haven't been feeling too creative in the kitchen lately. In cooking, you can combine two different flavors and get something that tastes completely new. I think we can do the same thing with the fermenter and brewer. If we're able to combine those processes, I think we'll find even more ways to preserve food and make it tasty at the same time. I just need some things to experiment with. A brewer, alcohol, and a fermenter. Okay. We can talk about this later. Okay. So let's head to my space. So a fermenter. Mm, I need 20 wood. I need to remember where everything is as well. Greens and herbs, green and tree. Nothing. She, uh, she's seashells and mushrooms. Okay, I have hardwood. Eight pieces of wood. It's probably a good idea to get some plant fiber as well. Okay, what about a brewer? Yeah, plant fiber. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to remember where everything is at again. I would assume it would be in here, yeah. I don't have a lot of plant fiber left. Um, let's get this axe. What? Let me go down here. And then any alcohol. I'm gonna come down here to these trees. These trees are usually pretty good. Still getting hardwood and I'm not getting any wood. Whoopsies. I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> okay, that should be plenty. Brewer. Uh, fermenter. And three alcohol. I should have alcohol already. I just don't know how much. This is the fermenter, right? Yeah. Okay, let me find a grain to ferment. Ugh, stop doing that, please. This, where are my grains at? Where are my grains? Where are my grains? Here we go. Um. Grab one. What? Is it not a grain? Oh, it's tree produce. I need to be paying attention. 
to specifically get a grain. Ugh, I don't want to use that though. Okay, let me get this. I'll use the corn as my grain. Okay, and then wait on that. Um, in the meantime, I can definitely go to the cave super quick. After I get all this sorted. And I did make the storage unit, so I'll go and transfer all of these goodies over there. those in there um put that there let's call our trusty steed i think it's mabel no it's matcha it's matcha okay let's head all the way to the beach each let's go get away Garden, I believe. And let me go ahead and eat what I need to eat. It's up here. Yep, okay. So let's actually get the sickle off. And get through this mug. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Give me all this good plant fiber. Okay, cool, cool. Oop. So I've been playing Dreamlight Valley recently. Dreamlight Valley is another one of my favorite um, uh, games to play, for sure. <gasps> this is definitely the Savannah, the Savannah Cave. But so I'm getting uh, my controls mixed up from <laughs> from um, Dreamlight Valley and this game because I haven't played this game in a minute. I've just been strictly kind of playing Dreamlight Valley because I am obsessed with Dreamlight Valley. So I'm not sure if this if, is it if it's saying that this is an entrance over here. Yep, <laughs> it is. And I don't know if there's a way to go over there or not, but we're gonna go this way. I need to get used to the way that things are over here. Okay, so it kind of just goes around. Ooh, is that diamond? never seen that one before what is this oh I need a stronger tool so I need a copper hammer interesting speaking of copper I'm loving how much copper is in this in this cave here this is really good I'm loving it I'm loving it Oh my god, 152? Jeez, that's a... That is a lot. Let's go. This is definitely the Savannah. If not, it gives jungle for sure. Yeah, there's so much copper in here. Loving 
You guys, my uh, root canal slash crown, I have a crown now on my tooth, but my crown has been bothering me so much. But the thing is, I don't want to go back to the dentist and tell them to fix it. So I'm going to try my best to kind of like tough this week out. And if it still if it still bothers me, then of course I'm going to go and I collect these. No, I can't. Of course I'm gonna call and tell them like, hey, I need to come get this uh, shaved down a little bit. But I don't know. I'm just trying to see if I need to like wait first to see if I'm just if it's just something I need to get used to or not. Okay, there's a music there. And if it's not something I can get used to, then I'm gonna uh, have them shave it down. But last apparently wwe is going on in my mouth when i sleep at night oh oh okay um yeah so apparently i'm just doing all kinds of german suplexes and all that and you can't see me and i'm tearing my mouth up i'm grinding my teeth on my uh against my other teeth so i woke up in the middle of the night my tooth like almost throbbing in pain and i'm like bro what is going on i'm like what is going on like i thought i was kind of hallucinating because like i said it's in the middle of the night so I, I even looked up i'm like why am i only experiencing pain at night it's wwe going on in there so i have to get a i'm gonna try to get a um a mouth guard to kind of help with that a lot because Maybe I need it, apparently. All right, so what room is this? Hotch's pair of rocks. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hotch's pair of rocks. So where does this lead? What is this? This power is still at breach. Ooh, pretty purple rocks. I can't collect that. I want to collect these purple plants, but y'all know who Presley is on TikTok? If y'all don't know who Presley is on TikTok, then y'all missing out. Presley is so cute. She always she's obsessed with uh, purple, so she has purple hair. She talks about purple cars, purple nails. She's adorable. Oh shoot, I'm not even paying attention. Okay, well I gotta go anyways. Uh, let me see if I can just explore this a little more. It looks like it wraps around over there. There might be an interest over there. Um, okay, so let me go all the way down because I don't want to eat any more any more of my food. I'm gonna go to the beach. Alright, Macha, let's go. This mama is tired. my root canal hasn't been terrible i felt like at first the the crown was did i say root canal I meant crown first the um the crown wasn't like um it didn't f okay so first of all i didn't i don't know how it's supposed to fit so i don't know if it's supposed to fit like perfectly because it was a little bit higher than like my regular teeth but as like the days have gone on it feels regular now so um, it doesn't feel higher than any, any other tooth like i actually i can actually like touch my teeth together and it feel like teeth but whenever i like fake chew and i do it with a little pressure i feel that pain back there and so i'm like okay am i feeling a little bit of pain because um thank you big t Ooh, where 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 okay it's right there am i feeling pain because also i have not gotten my wisdom teeth taken out and my wisdom my bottom teeth specifically are really pushing against my uh bottom row Ooh, is this a thing i can oh some more watercress okay cool a nice little reading nook for sure but i'm like okay is it my my wisdom teeth that, are, that it's causing this pain or what but i'm like i'm fairly certain it's because the crown is sitting maybe a little bit too high but then like like i said it's it's like gotten lower 
and it, it feels like re a regular tooth now. Well, besides the obviously p plastic bit of it, obviously the plastic part of it isn't doesn't make it feel like a tooth, but <laughs> nevertheless, it feels normal to a certain extent. Okay, let me grab my other beer. But nine time nine times out of ten, I most likely am gonna go back to the dentist. I just really didn't want to because pride for one and two because um let me also do this since i'm right over here and looking at it two because i just i don't want to go back dude. like <laughs> i want to i want to try to tough it out first because like whenever i whenever i was talking whenever i first got the crown i was banging my tooth against it i was banging the um oh lord put that away girl I kept banging my top teeth against the bottom one so i was like okay is this like is this normal <laughs> is this normal but then like as days have gone on i can talk regular and i'm not banging my teeth against any other teeth so i'm like okay maybe i really do need to just like let the days pass and then go to the dentist and see if i need to like for real for real um get them to shave it down but yeah and it's not like terrible pain like i'm not it's not like throbbing or or anything it's really just whenever i fake chew <laughs> so i'm like i'm never going to fake chew ever again in my life so it's like i don't know if i'm over exaggerating or not <laughs> i don't know if i'm over exaggerating or if i'm valid in the way that i feel i don't know i never know how i well actually that's a lie i do know how i feel like nine times out of ten but Right now, this very moment, I'm conflicted. <laughs> um, let me put this stuff up really quick. And then I'll go back to the caves. A little bit. Oh, another cutscene. Okay. You really should go out and chat with the rest of the clan. Especially if you're going... Especially if you're ever going to meet that special someone. It's not my man. <laughs> Mom? Just saying, it wouldn't hurt if you're more social. Oh, hi. Tara's cooking smells great, doesn't it? She makes the best sweets I've ever had. That was my favorite part of traveling with my father. We'd make sure to share a meal with whomever we stayed with and try their favorite dishes. Being here, I've tried all sorts of new things. I just wish I could eat some of the food from my clan. It's great that Tear takes the time to cook for us, but I miss my food with flavor. <laughs> is it because she's white? Is it because is that why you said that? <laughs> why would they put that? Why would they put that in this game, knowing that black people are going to take it that way? <laughs> Sorry, that sounded rude. <laughs> oh, man. I don't mean it like that. It's just... Traditional Jomentan food is made with a lot of spice. Anime is an, it's important, an important, important part of our, of our culture. culture. Oh, look at him tremble. He's gonna burst a blood vessel because I just his wife. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, people uh, would have pepper-eating competitions at festivals. Kids even played along, but maybe Pachins wouldn't even like our food anyway. You think so? That's a great idea. No, not her listening. Oh god, I'm so sorry, Tear. You're beautiful, babes. You absolutely should make some of the dishes you like and share them with the clan. Thank you, Tear. And I'm sorry about insulting pot and food. You have it all wrong. There's no pot and food. Only potchins. You, my dear, are a potchin. Aw, she didn't take it. It definitely came out, came out bad, but hey, okay, you ain't saying nothing new. Uh, best idea, research. All right, cool. All right. Back to the caves. Here we 
we go. I'm not gonna lie, I wish the copper came out a little bit more than just one. Like how the rock how the stones be coming out. Like they come out in fives. For the most part. <laughs> it seems like copper just comes out in ones. Paying attention. These vines need water. If only there was a way to splash a bunch of it on them. The stuff is all around. Interesting. Cool. So now I can get back over here. And there's a way to go over there. Okay. Nice. Let's go this here. So there's two ways to go, actually. This might be the way I don't think it is, though. Bear rule. Nah, I don't think that's the way to go. Well, let's check the map. No, it's just that way. Okay. I'm loving all the copper. Okay, we got two of them. Such shiny. A bear is the best, unless she's hungry, or woken up, or you forget her birthday. <laughs> bear sounds like an average Leo to me. No offense, no offense, just jokes. Calm down, Leo. I love y'all. Love y'all. My cousin is a Leo. Well, one of my cousins is a Leo, and she's the most amazing person on this earth. Eat some. Yeah. What is what? What food is this again? Fruit crumble. Shoo! You need to get me some fruit crumble. All right. What we got going on? Ooh, this one is cute. Wait, this one is cute. Okay. So cheese. One I haven't come across yet, and another one I haven't come across yet. The bear is so cute. Alright, cool. So it should say that I am in the bear. Yeah, the bear room. Alright, well, let me collect any. Okay, cool. And there's one right, right up there. Okay, so where have I not been is the question. I keep forgetting I need to do that. Oh, there's a way to go up and to the right. And then there's a way to go this way too. Okay, hold on, hold on. I just need to see some real quick. And then I'll go back home. So we're gonna go to Pacha's pair of rocks. So there was a way to go up and right from this room. That's not the way. 
open. Oh, here, here. Okay, so there's that room. And then right. I thought I went all the way, all the way right and I didn't see anything. Maybe it's down here? Oh, it is, okay, I see it. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, then I'll come back and I'll do that. Automatically, I'm just gonna go head back to the caves. Encouraging animal breeding. Big T has an idea. T wants to talk to you about our lack of baby animals. Sure. I mean, I don't know how to get them to breed either, so you know, talking to me is not gonna do much. Let's see how do these guys. Get up. Get up right now. The animals in the fields are a little shy. Otherwise, we'd have more babies roaming around. Maybe we can build them a little house? They might want some privacy. I would if <laughs> I would if I were then. Okay, Big T. All right. Flint, wood, plant fiber. Okay. I'm not sure how much flint I have. But let me see, Big T. Who are Big T's, uh, Big T's children? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. Purr. Um, anyways. Let's go see. Let's see what I can cook up. Oh, also, um, okay, flint, I need wood and plant fiber. Um, I need a little bit more wood. And where's my plant fiber? 30, okay, that's perfect. So I just need a little bit more wood. Real quick, let's go ahead and upgrade my hammer. Let's upgrade uh my hammer. Oh, I can't. Oh. Well, I don't need a copper hoe. Yeah, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that. Okay. Let's go grab some more wood. Actually, this might be enough right here. Perfect. Now, oh, where'd she go? Okay, she lit the campfire. Oops, I did not mean to get that to Herman to talk to her. You don't think Freyr and Eloy are dating, do you? He's far too young for that. Girl, I don't know. LOL, girl, let's just go to the... Uh, to the caves. Get out of my way. Let's get this place opened up. Doesn't matter. Upper right. Upper right. Don't matter. Perfect. Okay, 
What do we got? What do we got? Oh, here we go. What is this? What is that? Grape juice? No, wine. It's wine. <laughs> if I ever invent a drink, it'll come in red or white. Okay. You got it. I say grape juice. <laughs> yeah, it might be grape juice, but I'm thinking... I'm most definitely thinking that it's uh, wine. all this lovely copper I love when it doesn't take like 50 rocks to open the open the doors oh but I can't even get through there yet because I don't have this so and that has a bear claw on it so I'm assuming that the other symbol that I need is not in there and it might be in here or in here. So let's go back down. God, I love this game. <laughs> this game is really good. Let's go back down. So not this room, but... Yeah, we need to go down one more time. This room, but this room. Okay, yeah, and there's a way to go right. Have I been down here? A way to go right? Ah, a way to go right. Gotcha. Me game. I know how your caves work now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm looking for some kind of drawings on the wall. Got some sapphire from that. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Is this a dead end? Okay, it's not. There's a way to go down. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I'm about to... I'm about to say, not y'all taking me to a dead end. That's crazy. Alright. What are we working with? Oh, the monkey. The chunky monkey. I'll try not to fall into the abyss this time. Just a little bit of threatening. Okay, it's six o'clock. Ooh, okay. Let's light this up. Yes! 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 Nice. There's a buzz about the case. I can feel it. So, honey? Is that supposed to be honey? What the heck is this? What is that, y'all? What symbol is that? Okay, so cheese, honey, and... I already forgot the other thing. Wine. Okay. Wine. Is there a... Okay, if I just go down, I can... If I can find a way to go down. Oops, why did I go to the bear room? <laughs> I, I technically could go ahead and put this cheese on here. Give it the cheese. Okay, let's go to the beach. Let me see what I need to make some wine. Any juice, any honey. Let me see if I have juice already. I might have some juice somewhere. Um, so here's honey. I don't know if I need just honey, so I'm just gonna, gonna get 
guess. Juice. Do I have any juice? Oh, it might be garbanzo, honey. That might be what, what it's asking for. I'll grab both. I'll take both. Um, juice. Do I have any juice? Hmm. I don't think I do. I need to grab a tomato. Let's do that real quick. Make some juice. because I need that food. <laughs> Air finished working on an idea. Thank you. Alright, how many hours do you have left? Four and a half. Okay. Jag here. What? He's not here? You know, low key, I'm gonna donate the beer. Ron and Knock are geniuses. We found a way to turn juice brews into a sour liquid that's amazing in a salad. I call it vinegar. You can make it with this. Thanks, queen. Then we soaked different veggies in it. And wow, is that good. Thanks, queen. Ron, Ron called it a pick a veggie, let it sitter at first. <laughs> a pick a veggie, let it sitter. <laughs> but we started calling it a pickler for short. Ooh. Winter reminds me too much of where I was born. Oh god, Jag. It's like a trauma dump every time we talk to him. <laughs> Let's go set these bad boys down. I need to make a... At this point, I need to make a separate area for my... For my stuff, because this is getting too much. Yeah, this is crazy right here. Okay, so what is this? A vinegar fermenter. So just makes vinegar... Pickled vegetable, pickled root, pickled meat, pickled fish, pickled egg. Girl, I have a ton of eggs. Let me pickle some eggs. These offerings kind of remind me of what you do in, uh... Oh, there's only two more spots. So it's either the honey or this. Okay, well. But yeah, you offer, um, you give up offerings to... Okay, yes, I was right to any of a, any specific deity that you're worshiping or multiple and you give them off an offering in uh in worship i guess you can say all right let's see what this oh pretty dreams are powerful things i seem to have forgotten mine pretty Use the power hidden in my claws to break the rocks that hide my memories. Oh! Then paint them here. I'll nap in the meantime. Girl, what? 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 Okay, wait, so... Well, hold on. Let me not use all those now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So there's, there's a way I could go. There's a way down here that I could go. And there's a way down here I could go. Okay. Hmm. 
Here we go. The bear got hungry after playing. Here we go. The bear played with its friends. Here we go. The bear watched the stars at night. The bear woke up and swam in the river. Looks like a starry night. What did the bear do before going to sleep? Looked at the stars. Oh, up there. Oh, it looks like sunrise. Bear play with his friends. Went to the river, and then this. Hmm, okay. Um... So maybe starry night, river, having fun. Oh, bear sleeping. Going on it? The bear got hungry after playing. The bear played with his friends. The bear watched this. The oh, the bear woke up and swam in the river. The bear watched the stars at night. Friends got hungry. There we go. Go me. Nope. Crushing riddles. Complete bear's cave challenge. That's creepy. You have done well, little dreamer. Use my power in the waking world so that you can break down barriers you once thought too big to overcome. You got a bear. Cool. You're quite the rock smasher, Trella. Bear gave me these claws for you. Why, thank you. You'll also be able to find them in rocks from now on. Okay, cool, cool. Nice, and a new achievement is ready to be sculpted. Cool. Alright, well, I think that's a great place to end this episode. Thank you always so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.